Couple more minutes with uh, Gino DeMarco, uh, head coach Geneva College. Three quarters to get the offense on track, not enough as they lose to Case Western 27-22. Trey Marshall finished with 159 yards on the ground. Now the third all-time leading rusher behind New Brighton native Willie Murray. Well, he could run the football, couldn't he? Just a little. Yeah. Uh, Geneva's offense accounted for 272 yards, including 213 on the ground. Defensively, Geneva got seven tackles from Jacob Robertson and Brian Wyant. Stop a small margin of error. When you do that against a good team, you usually pay for it, and they did. This week, Carnegie Mellon, Saturday afternoon on the road. Last two weeks, and I just talked to your coaches, and I know you're never happy unless it's a W, but come on, Coach. From a fan's point of view, and I'm a fan, I'm reading the box scores. I'm checking out the GT's website today. I come away with uh, some things to smile about. Oh, we did a lot of good things Saturday night. and We played a great football team. Uh, I think offensively, you know, we made some mistakes that kept us, uh, you know, we left some points on the field. And we'll get those fixed. And defensively, I thought our guys did an outstanding job. Uh, you know, when, when you're playing really, really good competition, it always comes down to, to four or five plays in the course of a game that are going to determine the outcome. And we look at those four or five plays and look at those mistakes, and we'll work on those things in practice, use them as learning uh, tools, and, you know, hopefully we'll get better for uh, what's a really good football team in, K in uh, Carnegie Mellon. What's the atmosphere like up there? Because I have such respect for those who have attended Carnegie Mellon, and their coach has been there forever. What's that like up there? Well, it's, I mean, I, I think, honestly, they should have more people at the game because, they, you know, they've done so well over the years. It's, it's really? Such well. a, yeah, and Rich Lackner has, you know, has done an amazing job with that program. Um, and I think they should have more people at the game. It's just whatever it is. Well, I have to ask you because it is a place of higher learning. Has anybody ever, like the timers, ever like, or she ever screwed up the scoreboards? Have they ever, like, I mean, because the all the kids yeah, have 1600s so, yeah, on right, the SAT? Right, right, right. right. No, I, I, I didn't think I so. I don't think so. They, well, listen, there's you a know, lot. there's public address now to use this words that I, I don't even understand. The ramification of the pontification. Okay, now. Yeah. Get yeah, uh, Carnegie Mellon this week. Lots of football left, and look. Yeah, we're, it's all we're thinking about. Right I know, now, right because, now. Gonna I know because I want okay people to come to, here. It's okay for you to think about it in the future, but right now we're, we're Grove it's City, Carnegie November third, home at seven. Like I said, it's Carnegie Mellon, Westminster at home, Absolutely. one o'clock, November tenth. We live in our. Coast. How was Beaver County night? Well, I'll let you go back. Uh, to work. But, uh, from a weather standpoint, it was horrible. Yeah, it was tough. From a game standpoint, um, yeah, I'll tell you, what, both teams battled, and. Uh, you know, love having Beaver County night. So how do you, because we know how difficult it is because the division that you play in and the way the rules are, and I commend you and your coaching staff and the president on down, student athletes, faith-based education, but you got another gem in this Trey Marshall. I mean, he just always seemed to come up with one or two books. But he's re really rewriting the history books here at Geneva. Huh? Oh, he's a tremendous running back. And, uh, you know, obviously <laughs> a major, major part of this offense. Listen, they've been watching films. There's so much work that goes behind the scenes. So I'm going to let them go back to work, and I'm going to go home and sit down for a little bit. You I, need to do that. I, yes, I do. Yeah. Till next time. When is next time? Oh, yeah, tomorrow afternoon we'll be talking politics with a guy who we tried to get to come here, Danny Camp, who is yes. now a county commissioner. We went to Teal. We're going to be talking to him. We're going to be at 424 Walnut and Swickley. And also, we're going to be at Moon Township tomorrow night because the big – Marching band competition known as Pimba is going to be happening. So I'm out there, folks. So until then, have a great night.